with the development of science and technology man is becoming more and more intellectual and going away from the wonderful emotional aspect of his personality but in spite of all this technological development the connection between the mother and the child is the umbilical connection because the child grows in the womb of the mother for nine months and though the umbilical cord is cut in spite of it they have that emotional connection the same way that the earth comes from the sun and develops in the womb of the sun and then from there we all develop our connection with the sun is one of the umbilical connection and this emotional connection it is necessary that we bring back so that man becomes much more harmonious with the world outside. Sun salutations is one such activity which can bring about our consciousness closer to the sun by offering ourselves to the sun. And in this sun salutations, it is a series of yoga postures harmoniously blended. Different schools have different number of postures added to that. It ranges anywhere between 10 postures to 36 postures or sometimes even 72 postures are involved. But the most important thing is the middle posture of this sun salutations where you are completely offering yourself to the sun by doing the Sashtanga Namaskara. Eight limbs of the body are involved in that. You keep the forehead or the chin on the ground, both the palms, chest, knees and the toes are on the ground in this way that we completely surrender ourselves with our karmendriyas the action centers and also the jnanendriyas the perception centers and we offer it to the sun god not only that we also offer the breath that is why when you attach the breathing and the sun salutations in this middle posture you exhale and hold the breath Bahya Kumbhaka and offer yourself. A very simple breathing pattern that we practice in the sun salutations is essentially whenever we do the back bending inhale, whenever we do coming back from the back bending exhale, the same way when you do the front bending we exhale and come back from the front bending we inhale. This way the posture properly augmented with the breathing becomes much more effortless. In the postures that we follow before the middle posture, we offer ourselves completely to the sun and after that, immediately after the middle posture, we have this bhujangasana, the cobra pose. Cobra pose is supposed to be a very spiritual practice of postures and cobra indicates the kundalini energy so which means basically after the surrendering of ourselves to the sun god now we are equipped with the energy which is given from the sun and this is the divine energy the individualness that we surrender and we adapt the divinity within us and that's how the next postures which are harmoniously equipping ourselves with the divine energy so this practice, when properly done, with this kind of emotional background behind it, it gives an enormous amount of benefit. When people do not understand the extent of the sun salutations, they take it to be just simple physical postures. And then their idea is just to finish the postures for the sake of physical benefit. But it is not like that. We need to slowly, gently do it and enjoy every moment of the practice of sun salutations breathing fully breathing in and breathing out and all those things gently softly not injuring the body but trying to see that the body comes to the best of its performance at the physical level the yoga postures can help but the breathing will help us at the prana level and our mind is totally attached with that emotions and intellect are together with that so that it's a total personality practice that we do at the pancha kosha level at the five personality level finally we become anandamaya kosha one with the divinity these practices sun salutations 
we have introduced in a hospital in Germany for all the medical doctors and the support staff. They come in the morning, practice six sun salutations, and after do that, they do about five minutes of relaxing, and then they report that the whole day's activity is flowing very smoothly because of these practices that they do. Long time ago, I happened to meet one great saint from Karnataka. At the age of 94 years, when I went to see him, he said early morning he does about a couple of hours of yoga practice. And I asked him, what is that you do? He said, now I have become old. That's why the doctor said, don't do too much. I just do about 150 sun salutations every day. At the age of 94, somebody could do 150 sun salutations. It means how smooth, how gentle, how harmoniously one should be doing it. So these practices of sun salutations, it is not that we do it, but this is something which flows from within us. When once we have that harmonious feeling, then these sun salutations will definitely work for us. We gave these practices diabetes, it's good for diabetes, it is good for hypertension, it's also very good for bronchial asthma. Name it any problem in the body, these sun salutations are very good. It is necessary for us to see that how we regularly practice these sun salutations. In fact, I would say that these days when people are so much concerned about the health and medication and all those things, this is one thing which is a practice which can prevent you from falling sick. A practice of every day keeps you healthy and fit. Just like we do the breathing, just like we do other activities, the same way that sun salutations has to become a part of our life.